M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtail RT900. Today we're going to look at the software. So down here, look, it does say CPS software. I'll put a link in the description. RT900, there's a couple of different models. I'm just going to go with the top one for now. Software channel 256. And there's firmware here as well. And there's also in the same link is the app for the Bluetooth models. And you've got the QR code there as well so let's just click download so we go here cps software click download and it will go into our downloads folder and then we'll it will appear on screen and we're just going to go next 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 so here double click next now i use the all-in-one cable i recommend you get one of them they're on amazon they're about 15 pound you will not regret getting one so we carry on going next, create a shortcut, next, and follow it through, let it open and finish. Now our cable's plugged in. If we right click device manager here, you're gonna see that there's a port. Go to ports and my port is CH3440COM2. Okay. So I click OK, because we hit yes to that. Let this open up. Click the start, it's all the blue squares here, and there it is there, RT900. Let's just move everything out of the way. And you've probably seen this software many, many times. It's quite a popular software. This So cables plugged in the radio and the PC. Let's go to settings, serial port, and we know it's COM2, and then click OK, and then we're going to read. And straight away, reason I haven't really added anything to this radio. It does read very fast, I've noticed. And you can see that it's appeared. I'll quickly show you the settings tab, which is up here. Uh, where is it? There it is there. Edit, then optional feature. This is where you can add all your different settings. And there are many. So you can program the buttons. You've got ones here for radio and TX power search, weather channels, long and short press, and a third button there. You've got FM radio, TDR, all that kind of stuff, which is twin receive. What you want to listen to when it turns on, on in VFO mode. So we can just put there 434.550 four, oh, and on the B band, I'm gonna put the weather channels, 850. Oh, this is the same as the Beaton Era model as well. And you can decide whether you want it on the A band to display the channel and the frequency or the channel and the name. So I'm going to put a bit of both there. Okay, so quite happy with that. For now, yeah, you can change your timeout. Let's leave that off. Squelch level. Auto backlight, I've turned it off so that it means that the backlight's always on. You can choose AM, FM, power on message, or just tell you the battery voltage. So have a little play. There's even a noise reduction switch. Okay, cool. So we just close that window with a little red dot, and we're going to put in here um, a repeater. So we'll just go 145.750 on the receive frequency. Transmit always has a shift. So one five zero, as you can see there, and I always I don't I never use the receive CTCSS, which is here. I use the transmit. So we need for that repeater we need ninety four point eight. We can also set the power here, and going all the way along, we can give it a name. That's GB three Bravo Charlie, and I could put my node in there as well, which is. 434.550. You have to put it on both sides. 434.550. So this is not a repeater. Tone of 77. It's a simplex but with a tone. So just practice with this. Uh, power, keep it low. You've got high and medium as well. And another name. Hubnet. Hubnet. Okay, so we're happy with that. We can save here so we don't lose it. Documents, I'll just call it RT900. Give it a couple of letters and save. So now we can write that to the radio. And it's very, it's just like super fast. 
the radio says programming. I have tried to set um, a boot picture, import boot, but it just didn't work. And I did resize it, 160 to 28. Watch this. Downloads. And then import image to the radio. Oh, you have to select the com, of course, to... Might have to just start again, I guess. So import image. And it sort of acts like it's doing it. Well, on my BT Tenero, it didn't do it. Let's see if it works on the Radtail. Oh, that one worked. So let's see if we turn it off and on. If we quickly see R2D2. Whee! <laughs> small minds are pleased with small things. You must remember that. How cool is that? So there you are, we've got an image on there, we've got a couple of memory channels, and if we go into memory mode, to, I think we did it on one and two, look, it says Hubnet, it's a bit small, but in GB3BC, so I hope this helps you. Uh, I do feel like the, the Radtel 900 model is a bit less buggy than the beaten area. I think physically it's the same thing. I accidentally forgot to get the Bluetooth one, so please don't forget, please make sure you choose the Bluetooth one because it was literally like two pound more and I just clicked the wrong button. So I am a bit unhappy about that. But do you know what? Even though we can download the app and use it and program it using our phone and our app, I never ever do. <laughs> so I'll get over it. Thanks very much. Happy Christmas. 7-3 all the best.